Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and our mansion top castle, no, our castle top mansion, it's not really ours, it's Tracy and Laura Hickman's, as well as Chris Perkins based on his revisions, but anyway, Strahd's castle, as described by those great authors, we are building a model of it for our friends to run through on an adventure, and let's face it, the third story mansion here, kind of not too mansional. This is, this should be a three-dimensional mansional experience with an expansional element to it, and it, it's lacking a certain amount of volume that you would normally associate with a third-dimensional extension of a cartographical invention. So what we want to do is we want to put in walls that reflect, nay, abound from the original design and allow our players to experience this space as it was intended, as a sequence or series of branch and spaces, rather than just one giant open room, you know? Imagine if humanity existed in space. Like, that was just it. We, we, were, we were, were made conscious, or we evolved consciousness without a planet. We're just in this huge space, and there's no constructs. Our brains would be entirely different than they are today. And we are not building a Curse of Strahd, Ravenloft, Dungeons and Dragons experience for these weird space floaty humans with high volume and whatever. We are creating small, claustrophobic spaces in sequence. Or I say that. I say we're doing this. I'm just sitting here. I've got a potato in my hand. Also, side note, I came up with the term, I don't like those Harry Potter Warner Brothers movies. And I've decided that I'm going to call people who enjoy them Barty Crouch Potatoes. This is not relevant to the rest of the episode, but, like, I think that there's something there. And you could even have Barty Crouch Potatoes Jr. Sus. For, like, kids who are exposed to the Harry Potter movies before they're exposed to the books. That is terrible. If you want to depict Harry Potter in film, just look at what the Harry Potter musical people did and watch that. Like, it's perfect. It... Anyway, sidetracked. The amount of walls that we are putting in right now is few and far between, and they need to be claustrophobic and built. So I'm going to flip through my map here, figure out where they need to go, and start dropping them in. Time skip! I have begun laying out the rough floor plan here. As you can see, we've got a space for our dining room, space for our study, I've got the big fireplace basically set in there. i got to get some netherrack for that. I've decided to do granite for the walls. A lot of these will be replaced by bookshelves in the long term, but the granite kind of works well with the red. There's going to be red curtains in front of this window, which I don't have enough glass to do quite yet. And uh, there's also this red changing um, thing for like somebody to change clothes, I guess. Privacy screen. This will be the uh, bathroom, so we need to get more red wool as well to fill a quartz bathtub with blood, you know, for plot reasons. Then, um, of course, right off the bathroom, they've got back to the dining room. Closets back here. I still need to get a bunch of leather armor to dye black to make uh, suits of clothes. Also, I was planning to do this entire exterior with bone blocks, but there's no way I'm going to get enough bone blocks in time. So I've decided I'm going to get diorite. There's, it's not the prettiest, and in the long term, we'll replace it. In the short term, we got to get it done. So, you know, I realize I don't know if I'm, you know, uh, off schedule because I have no schedule for this project. Other, But I have a deadline. And having a deadline without a schedule probably isn't a good idea. This is why I'm not a project manager. But anyway, this is just definitely way better than it was. We've got the foundation in place, so now we can just start putting blocks down and hopefully get this ready to go before people show up. Time skip. Oh, excuse me, I didn't realize that I would be disturbed back here behind my privacy screen. Well, luckily I was already done changing this room from an empty barren landscape into an empty barren wallscape. We've got our window in. We've switched the bones out for diorite above these pieces. That will definitely give the uh, kind of building less of the yellowish appearance that I was going for in the palette, but it saves me a ton on materials. Now, if we come out of here, this is going to be the master bedroom. I don't have everything I want to put in the master bedroom yet. I need to make a canopied bed and stuff still, but I can get fabric for that from sheep and wool in another episode. Today, though, you know what we do have with us is we have the stuff we need to make the bathtub. You know, 
pretty straightforward vampire bathtub, you know. Vampires have simple needs that are fairly standard. We just get our nice little marble tub in here. We get some nice little stairs leading up to it. And we just go ahead and fill it with blood. Perfect. One vampire bathtub complete. Let's also go ahead and put a torch back here just so for Latin purposes. Boom. Vampire bathing room. Done. Next problem. Oh, you know what the next problem is? Let's uh, fix this wall a little bit. The entrance to the closet is supposed to have red curtains on either side of it. Don't have red wool at the moment. And I don't have the stuff I need to actually put the stuff on the uh, hangers here. But on the whole, the closet is coming along pretty well. Ooh. Although I need to block off that part of the wall too. For right now, that's not a secret passage. That's just a wall that I haven't finished. Bathroom leads to the dining room, so, you know, you can come in fresh. Nobody wants to have a smelly host. Perfect. And then we are back here to the study. Now, I do have to get some bookshelves and uh, chairs for the study, but once again, furniture I can do in a separate pass. The core concept, the layout of the rooms, is complete. Over here we got our fireplace, and I'm currently using the chimney from the fireplace, which actually needs to punch out through the ceiling here once I get more granite. I'm using that as a shortcut while I build to work on this hallway, which you can access via a secret... Okay, that could have gone a lot better, or a lot worse. I'm glad that we had that good experience of, you know, falling and not dying together. I feel closer to you already. This has been a great moment. Anyway, moving forward. This is the Hall of Webs. It is not full of webs yet. That is something I need to work on. But through it is the belfry, or the bell tower, and I realized as I started working on this that I actually built this roof out a little bit further than I needed to. So I'm in the process now of, whoops, I say that, I'm in the process of looking at the sky and ender pearl glitching. There we go. Good night, moon. Good night, potato. Anyway, I'm in the process of building out this bell tower. I'm going to leave this extra part of the roof in right now while I build, so if I fall, I fall to here instead of falling to there. I mean, that's just better. Nobody wants to fall that far. You know, who would have thinked? Thinked. Dang it. Okay, never mind. Who would have thunk? So, this bell tower has quite a few windows on it, which I am in the process of laying out. I actually had just run downstairs to grab additional stone, so as you can see, I have plenty of that at the moment. But yeah, this tower is one of the most striking features of the back of the castle in terms of elevation. Um, obviously, these other towers kind of are going to outshine it in a lot of ways, but, you know, it's, it's there. If you're going to have a tower or a castle, you know, if you're going to have a castle, you might as well have towers. If you're going to have towers, you might as well have bell towers. Like, I don't know that you necessarily need a bell for your castle, but there was an entire plot of a Beauty and the Beast movie about it, so I figure those Disney folks know what they're doing. You probably want a bell for your castle. Just guess it. Now, actually, as I look at this, the way the roof meets this, I probably don't need two of these above the window. Oh, yes, I do, because of how I'm going to put my roof blocks. It's always good to think through these things off camera and then ignore what you thought about earlier when you're on camera and then screw it up, and then you can just fix it in post. Production. That's, that's what we call the editing phase. Not going to do that here, though, because I want you to learn. This is for you! I am making something to help you embrace your full potential by watching me not live up to mine. That is the Joe Hills difference. It's not a Joe Hills guarantee, because there are no guarantees or warranties associated with this product. So, not for ingestion or life-saving purposes. Let's go ahead and... It's always so hard to set up these turn-in stairs around these roofs. But we can do it. I believe in me. And you. Alright, so I've worked on the lower roof for this little wing here, but when I look at this bell tower roof and I compare it with the roof up there, there's definitely a steepness issue, or depth, if you will. There's an issue of depth and steepness that I'll have to resolve. This roof is going to be fine, I just need to get more purple blocks, but unfortunately I'm out of time for this episode. Why don't we, whoa, fly, 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 don't die say, why don't we fly onto the wall that I just completed some supports for to see how that roof came out, but unfortunately, yeah, that, that didn't happen. Okay, on the whole, 
physically the space is about where it needs to be. Not sure why there's a light and glitch there, but we are moving along one day at a time. So thank you guys for joining me. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.